Five gone, Millwall lead. Here comes Hogan, right footed. Saved, and the rebound goes wide. Bansfield on the right hand side, lovely finish. Good morning everybody. Saturday means game day, means another vlog. We are off to St Andrews for Birmingham versus Millwall. Birmingham, massive feel-good factor there after the takeover and a great transfer window. They've won three on the bounce. Could go top if they win this. Millwall, two wins, two defeats for the Lions so far. Their fans were on the manager's back a couple of games ago, but did bounce back with a win last time out. So 12.30 kickoff, so time is not my friend here. Let's get on the road to Birmingham. Bye bye Arlo. We have arrived in Birmingham, all safely parked up, just walking down to the ground now, expecting team news in about five minutes. Team news in, Cody Drama makes his debut for Birmingham. At right back, that means Bakuna can move forward. Jay Stansfield in from the start. He scored that late winner in the last game here against Plymouth. Murray Wallace in for Joe Bryan for Millwall. That seems to be the only change I'm guessing. He'll play left wing back. As you were, let's head inside. Lively start here, only five gone. Millwall lead, free kick. Looked a little bit 50 50 to me. Kevin Nisbet has bent it right footed into the corner. I think Tom Ruddy thought he was going the other side. He did get a hand on it, just palmed it into the side netting. Millwall lead, and we know that they're good sat back behind the ball. Bad start for Birmingham, great start for Millwall, five gone. Birmingham nil, Millwall one. I think we can see the pattern of how this one's going to go. It's 15 gone. Birmingham trying to get back in. A couple of efforts for Bakuna. Stansfield glanced ahead of as well. It's going to be hard for their wide players to get round this Millwall five at the back when they're kind of behind the ball. That is how the pattern is looking. I think Millwall will be happy to play it on the counter now. One nil, Millwall, 15 gone. That's unreal. Unbelievable. Incredible goal, another save. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, seems to have been disallowed for some reason. It was the David Beckham, Paul Skull's corner volleyed in. I think Jake Cooper got a touch. And after a big delay, it's been disallowed. Everybody stand down. Still 1 0. By the way, Sanderson should have equalised, but do check that one out. If you get to see a replay, it would have been an incredible goal. You probably owe Millwall a bit of an apology. They're actually the better side at the moment, getting getting the wide players forward and out of that back five shape. Forced another couple of decent attacks. Um, we're coming up the half hour mark now, and Birmingham really need to step their game up here, or they're not going to get anything out of this one in Millwall. Five to half time now. Birmingham getting really frustrated. Unforced errors come in, and they've just got no flow to their game. To be fair. Millwall aren't letting them, we are playing the game on Gary Rowett's terms. Don't see this changing before half time, but I've been wrong before. 1 0 Millwall. And Birmingham are going to have a massive chance to get back into this just before half time. Went loose in the box. Keshi Anderson ran and ran and ran. I think Cooper leaves it for Sarkic's in goal, takes him down. Penalty Birmingham, which Scott Hogan is going to take. Whistle goes, and here comes Hogan, right footed. Saved, and the rebound goes wide. Oh, it's one of those days for Birmingham. It's a good save by Sarkic. Don't know how the rebound hasn't gone in, and they are going to go in one down at half time. <laughs> 
Half time then, Birmingham nil, Millwall won. Millwall have Millwall Birmingham, haven't they? They got in front on five. Maybe a coin flip that free kick. Nisbet curls it right footed. Ruddy, could he do better? I'd need to see it back. Could have gone two nil up actually. I, and again, I need to see this one back. Great corner um, to the back stick. Volleyed. Think Cooper got a touch. Maybe offside all happened too quickly for me to tell. Um, it looked like Millwall were going to give you good value for a 1-0 half-time lead. And then Birmingham get that penalty right at the end of the half. Hogan misses it. The, the follow-up, I think it might have been Stansfield, just drifts wide. The game is going perfectly to Millwall's game plan. Worst thing that could have happened for Birmingham was that early goal, really emboldened Millwall. There's a few bits and bobs off the bench Birmingham can do, maybe Miyoshi. They are missing a physical presence up front against that really well-organised Millwall defence. Patton stays the same. Millwall are taking three points from this, but there is an argument that Birmingham surely are going to be better than they were in the first half. Half-time, Birmingham nil, Millwall one. Five gone in the second half. Millwall still controlling the pace of this game and managing to keep it nice and slow, basically, not letting Birmingham build up anything. But Kuna has gone into the book. He was a bit of a red card risk, getting frustrated in the first half. So keep an eye on that. 1-0 Millwall. Nobody there. It looks like a draw. It smells like a draw. Four minutes remaining of the stoppage time. We'll see if I'm right. Well, we are out of St Andrews, heading back to the car. It was Birmingham 1. Millwall won. It seems so obvious after the fact, doesn't it? Um, I suppose when you factor in that missed penalty, maybe Birmingham would be the more disappointed not to have won this game. But when you factor in the game state, if you told me at half time or before that missed penalty that Birmingham would get a point, I'm sure their fans would have been pretty happy. Millwall sort of managed to control things in terms of the territory and the pace of the game for the most part during the first half and I thought they deserved their 1-0 lead at half time even though with the big caveat of that missed penalty by Scott Hogan. It wasn't that much change in the second half and it's a proper cliche but goals change games and just wide awake from a throw in and Bakuna pokes it through for Jay Stansfield who's looking a really good loan sign and he scored in the last home game as well. He drilled that one in. At 1-1 I suppose both sides had kind of periods where they were in the ascendancy without anyone really battering the other I would say. I think Millwall stuck a few long throws in and a few set pieces and whatnot towards the end but there was a little bit of a kind of sort of sense from about 70 minutes that 1-1 one, one was really going to suit both teams. I think it's probably fairly important from a Birmingham point of view with that feel good and that momentum that they've built up, they didn't lose the game and if I'm a Birmingham fan I'm still well happy with where things are. I think it's 11 points from 5, albeit they could have gone top of the table with a win today. They've got a load of players to um, kind of 
bed in, haven't they, when, in this big transfer window for them. And a few um, injuries that they'd probably quite like to get back very, very fast. So I'm probably fairly happy with the way things are going and the way things have gone if I'm a Birmingham fan, despite the fact they did huff and puff a little bit today. From a Millwall point of view, I guess this big narrative about the style and about Gary Rower and that aligning with what the fans want, I guess that's not really going to go away. He is who he is. It is what it is. And we did get a quite humorous chant with Millwall 1-0 up of Gary Rowett, your football's all right, which rhymes exactly with what um, the negative chants were at Norwich a couple of weeks ago. Again, like Birmingham, few new players there to bed in for Millwall and we'll see if that improves them. I think they're in 12th, but that's with the caveat that the 3 p.m.s as I'm recording this haven't happened yet. Right, back to the car. That'll do me for the vlog today. Let me know what you thought, Birmingham fan, Millwall fan, or wherever you are watching your football today, get involved in the comments and let me know what's been going down. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and you can now sign up and join as a member of the channel. Just click the button below here and you can see all the lovely perks. It's always fun as well. Well, not so fun for me. If you want to take a look back, click up there at the bold predictions for this week. And I warn you in advance, some of them will be wrong, but that's all part of the fun. Thank you for joining me. It was Birmingham 1, Millwall 1. We'll see you for another vlog very soon.